What's up, fellas? So I got a patron supporter that said he can't find his purpose in life, guys. All right, guys. So first off, with this, for all my guys on here that can't find their purpose in life, first off, first thing you need to know is, are you trying different things? Are you trying? As humans, we get into a nature, we are creatures of habit. We'll do the same fucking routines. How many times have y'all guys flipped through TV and said, ain't nothing on TV? But when was the last time you actually gave a different show or a different movie that you haven't heard of it a try? You what you do, you flip through the channels and you look for the same you look for shows that you recognize. So you end up watching Martin season three, episode five, for the fiftieth fucking time when you could quote quote word for word what he finna say. Instead of trying this other show that's on another channel that you never heard of. And so then you bitch and complain that nothing is never on TV. How many times have you went through the movie channels and said, man, ain't nothing on here. But there's plenty of movies on there that you never saw, never gave a chance to. But what are you doing? You're looking for a movie that you recognize. And this is the same thing that goes on with your everyday life. You're a creature of habit. And you're not trying different things. Guys, you have to do things that come outside of your box. If you don't, then you can never expect to find nothing new. All right, guys? So you might have a purpose in hiding or something, but you'll never find it. Maybe you like canoeing. Who fucking knows? Maybe you like fucking skywalking. I don't fucking know. Just try a whole bunch of different shit. I ain't talking about a couple of things. Try a different adventure every fucking weekend. Try something different all the fucking time. You will find something that you have a passion for, but it, it but you just have to get out there and step outside of your box. I don't care if on the outside it might sound like something that you don't you might not like. You don't never know till you try it, guys. All uh, right, I see this all the fucking time. I've been guilty of this in my past also. Don't step outside of my box. I have a tendency to go to the same restaurants, watch the same shows, Go to the same clubs, do everything the same, and as soon as I step out my box, I'm like, damn, I actually like this place. All right, guys, so just try something new. All right, the second thing, guys, and this is a big one, you might have a passion for something, but to you, it's just something that you can't possibly see how you're going to make a living off of it. So that's what happens a lot of time, guys. So, and I give you a case in point. When I used to be going on all those dates and dating all those women for all those years, I never had no idea it would be giving me the experience to sit up here and tell you guys. So I had a pa passion for dating a whole bunch of women, all right? But by no means did I ever think it would be anything I could make a living off. And here we is all this time later, all these years later, all these dates later, all that money I spent hanging out with chicks. And when I say all that money, guys, when you do as many dates as me, even if you keep it to $30 a date, it's going to add up. All right. Especially when you don't make a whole lot of money. I haven't always made what I make now. All right. I, I was a bouncer. And then even as a personal trainer, you know, your, your, your disposable income is not as crazy where you dating six women where you just don't fucking care. So when you start dealing dating five or six women have these fucking rotations and shit like that, this shit can add up by but by no means that is how I got the experience to be where I'm at now. So I guarantee you it's something you love to fucking do. But in your mind, you just can't rationalize how the fuck is there any way I can make a living off of this? There is where you have to sit down and think about it. You just got to give it some fucking thought. Uh, it ain't that. I can tell you, you got to sit down. I can't hold your fucking hand through everything. You have to sit down. It, it, you might want to be the fucking jack off champion. You have to sit down and figure out some type of way. I don't fucking know. But I, I find it hard to believe you don't have a passion for something. Maybe you have a passion for fucking women. All right? Maybe you be the next dating coach. Who knows? All right? You just... Time will tell, man. The next thing, guys, is the law of attraction, guys. You have to let your purpose fall, fall uh, find you. 
You never find anything when you're looking for it. We all know that. You never find love when you're looking for it or nothing like that. The law of attraction. You know what? You know what lazy people call the law of attraction? They call it luck. That's what they call it. But this, this, is, this is the law of attraction, guys. Let's say I'm an actor. All right, let's say I'm an actor. I'm going to break down the law of attraction for y'all. I'm an actor, but acting is not paying the bills right now. So I'm going to go be a vacuum clean sell salesman, door-to-door -door vacuum clean sell seller, all right? And I knock, on, I knock on doors every day, every day. I sell some. I get rejected a lot. I sell some. I'm an actor now. Keep that in mind. One day I go knock on the door, and I'm selling this guy a vacuum cleaner. And he just so happened to bring up, you know, he got to go to the set. And I'm like, oh, go to the set of what? He's like, oh, I'm, I'm directing this big movie. And I'm like, really? I'm an actor. Now, was that luck? Did, did, did that seem like it's luck to y'all? To me, to you, that might seem like luck. But to me, that's called the law of attraction. You know why? Because when you get off your ass and you try things and you out grinding and shit like this, things have a way of falling in your lap. That's funny how that works. What would have been luck is I was sitting on my ass in the fucking living room on the couch watching Care Bear reruns and a director knocked on the door and said he looking for actors. That's luck. But how many times does that happen? That don't happen. You create your own fucking luck. See, when you go out and you knock on enough doors and you do enough shit, guys, when you out just interacting with the world, period, just interact, shit just has a way of falling in your lap. For any of you guys that are looking for the woman in your dreams, I know everybody over here is not red pill, dig them down and talk them to the side of the road. I know a lot of you guys over here are purple pill. I, I'll venture to say most of the guys over here are purple pill. They probably never admitted any comments and shit like that. But most of you guys, a lot of you guys over here ain't with all that fucking rotation shit. I know that bullshit. A lot of you guys are purple pill. You like, yeah, AMS, I know bitches ain't shit, this, that, and the other. But I don't got time for all that bullshit. And I'm not here to judge no fucking body. But if you want to find that one true girl, how you going to find her is you got to be out all the fucking time. Socializing. She's not going to fall in your lap. I doubt you meet her online. You have to get out and do things. And where you're going to meet her at? You're going to meet her at the gas station on the way to the basketball game. Or you're going to meet her at the gas station on the way to the gym. That's how that see when you out and you live a social life of abundance, the law of attraction just brings shit in your life. That's just how it works, guys. It's you create your own fucking luck. All right. So the, the reason me saying that is just the midst of you getting out, living your life, doing things, trying different hobbies and shit. You uh, find what your passion or your purpose in life is probably off of something that you weren't even directed towards that way. All right. Do y'all guys understand that? Maybe you got a job to fucking clean the fucking swimming pool. And then you find out you got a passion to be a fucking swimmer. Who the fuck knows? I'm just throwing some scenarios out there to let you know. Sometimes it'll just blindside you. It'll just, it'll just come out of nowhere. You won't even be expecting it. That's how it works, guys. But you have to live your life. And the reason I say this shit, because a lot of men don't live. A lot of men, you know, sit in their fucking house and just baffled why nothing in their life, why they don't have no women, why they can't find their passion in life, but yet they just sit in their house and watch East Skittles and watch TV and then wonder why nothing seems to be working. You have to get out and do things, guys. Get your ass out the house. When you guys come home, as so say, let's say you're working on um, your job, and then you come home and you really ain't got a passion in life or purpose, then you should be out living a life because you don't have you don't have a purpose or you don't even know what your purpose is. So you you're trying to kind of find yourself. Well, you have to just experiment and live life. The law of attraction will bring it towards you, but you have to live. All right, guys. The next thing, guys, is and this just this is this is a critical one. It takes it takes time, guys. You might be my age or older when you find what you have a passion for in life. You just don't fucking know. So in the midst of doing all this different shit. It could take you years. You might be 60 years old when you find out what you have a purpose for in life. And that's just a God honest truth, guys. You just never know how long. So you don't sit around and stew over. You live your life. It'll find you. All right? 
Some people would let me, and, and you know let me give y'all some more bad news. The ones of us that are lucky enough to find our purpose in life, we're the lucky ones. It's some people in, in life that'll never find that true love, you know, that, that, that soulmate, so to speak. And some people found that soulmate at fucking 15. LeBron found his wife, they was dating in fucking high school. And they still together. And I'm quite sure he done did his thing on the side, and maybe she has too. But they're still the fucking together. He's lucky. Y'all know y'all self, that's not the way it usually works. And from me just watching their interaction on social media and shit, it seems like he really loves her. That's what, that's what I'm good at picking up on people. And the feeling I get from him is he really loves her. He's lucky that most of you motherfuckers will never get that. Or you'll be old when you find it. And the same things fall for your purpose. Life's not fair. Some of you motherfuckers ain't going to find your purpose. Some of you motherfuckers are never going to find true love. Maybe you'll love the woman. But can you find a woman that really, truly love you? And y'all know how I feel about love. She loves chasing your validation. But regardless, some of you will never get that. That's, that's, that's just how I feel about it. And like I said, guys, life is not fair. Is it fair that Blueface can go fuck a thousand women in six months? Can you do that? And let's say he fabricated. Let's say he fabricated. Let's say he only fucked a hundred women in six months. Some of you motherfuckers won't fuck half that many women your whole lives, even as a bachelor. Is it fair that he can do that because he can rap or do whatever the fuck he do? Life's not fair. So you might, you might go to the grave and never find out what you have a passion for. Life's not fair, guys. Is it, is it fair some people are born blind? Is it fair that some people are born without legs? Life's not fair. I know, hey, fair is what they sell cotton candy at, guys. Life's not fair. Yeah, that's just a thing about life if you five foot two yes it's gonna be harder for you to attract women than somebody six foot four that's a fact i don't give a fuck how much confidence you got it's gonna be harder for you is it is it is, if you five foot two is it gonna be harder for you to make the nba you got damn right is it impossible no it already happened mugsy bowls were like five three or some shit it's happened but it's harder all right life's not fair guys i run like a fucking turtle i wanted to be a fucking wide receiver but i run like fucking a fucking turtle Life's not fair, guys. So you might not never find what you have a passion for. And you have to be content for that, which sets up my next point. This is why I tell you guys to get a skill or education on something that's in demand. I tell y'all guys that do not be that fucking bum that's sitting on your fucking mama couch telling me I'm trying to find my passion in life. You know that, 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 that broke ass guy who thinks he's in a band who's still walking around here trying to do the band shit broke and shit but don't act like he got responsibility this is the shit i'm talking about guys we don't do high value men don't do that all right how listen i had a passion for fitness but if i couldn't make a living at it i'll still have my ass bouncing at that fucking club i wasn't gonna say i i'll stay in that basement for the next 50 goddamn years and be my own fucking man than sleeping on my goddamn mama or sister couch time I'm trying to wait for my passion in life. Fuck that bullshit. I'm a fucking man. So this is why I tell you guys, you got responsibilities. As a high value man, there's a bunch of guys over here right now that don't know what they have a passion for and maybe they make a lot of money but they hate the shit but they go do it because that's what life's about. Life's not about fun and games. Life is real. So if you're a young guy and you sent me this question, you might end up doing a job you don't fucking like. Hey, that's it is what it is. If you can find what you have a passion for, then get started on it. But in the meantime, get your skill or education. You might not never find your purpose in life. You might not never find your fucking true love in life. But what you is going to find is fucking bills in life. I can guarantee you that. So in responsibilities. So at the end of the day, do not be sitting around stewing, feeling sorry for yourself that you can't find what you have a passion for in life. Get your ass a skill or education in something that's in fucking demand. And for the education boys over here, my oh, school, that ain't no good. Motherfucker, just get an education in something that's in demand and that pays. Do some fucking research. Last time I checked, the STEM fields are playing, paying pretty well damn good. All right, guys, motherfuckers go get a, a, a degree in some bullshit, and then they turn around and they blame college debt. Yeah, because you wouldn't have got a degree in fucking bullshit. Get a degree in some shit that pays. It's a little harder. All right? It's a, it's a little more work than your fish pottery degree. All right? But 
This is how see some motherfucker just want to say they went to school and they got a degree and but they don't understand you got to carry your ass in the real world and now this degree make forty grand but when your ass was in college you just wanted to get some easy. See them STEM fields they ain't easy. Yeah no 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 that ain't easy. You want work your ass gonna work and study it ain't gonna be no hoe chasing and yeah, motherfucker gonna go to school and go to parties and shake their ass and then wonder why when they got out of school they got a hundred thousand dollar worth of college debt making 25 grand a year it's that bullshit ass degree you got not the college debt if you would have got a degree in some shit that pays you could have paid that college debt off in two years that's what i think about it all right guys so that's the thing i'm trying to teach you guys to be responsible over here life is real all right, we ain't no fantasy world, none of that bullshit. I want all you guys to find your purpose in life, but the fact of the matter is some of you guys probably never will. Some of us will never find true love. I'm content with that. I don't really give a shit. But a lot of you guys, purple pill guys, you just you will never find true love. Maybe you settle down and you meet a girl and she tolerates your ass. That's what I'm saying. All right, guys, I'll get back with you guys later.